Good morning and welcome to the channel. My name is Varska. If you haven't already, definitely hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so you can keep up to date with all my latest videos and all of my latest content. But we are here with an episode of Banished and we are ready to begin. We think we might, I know our food's low, but I think we might have come up with a solution. We might have put in enough farms and enough people working in those farms to be able to keep our population alive. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. And things are also starting to kind of fall apart over here. Let's get some roads in. Now we don't have any stone to actually be building these roads, but... Also have that fire damage over here, so we're gonna go ahead and replace that with a stone house. We'll eventually replace all of them with stone houses, but we don't have that kind of stone or effort or energy or resources right now. Just none of the above. And one and okay. So we don't have enough people to fill those shoes yet. It's going to be a, lot, a while before we do. So we're just going to we're gonna relax, let things play through, see how they go, especially with our harvest. Our food is very, very, very low, but hopefully our fishermen are able to kind of keep up. I'm hoping anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't want to lose Ginger. She's not pretty, but she is our team. No mats. How many? Because I can use... I could use the jobs. We're going to allow. I'm probably going to regret this. Instantly, we're going to fill out all of our food collecting positions. So they're all going into a food based job. I think we're also going to put a fish, a fish here. I know we got a pasture going in here. Is there a way that we can get a fish in here? Let's put one right there. Alright, I know y'all are homeless, but I got plenty of homes that are not... Yeah, you guys will find somewhere. So, we put them into mostly immediate food positions. So, we're going to transfer the last couple into mining. I doubt, come on, please don't cause mass starvation. It's early summer. Oh, dysentery. It's alright, we have our position, it will take care of itself. It will take care of itself. I'm proud. I'm, I'm really going to end up regretting bringing those guys in. How do you guys not have houses? Just move in with like AD and Garnell. Start getting it on, making babies. Food's low. We're in summer. Now, because we have the Nomads, I am going to do early harvest. Already harvesting that. I don't even need to harvest that. Harvest. We're gonna start our early harvest on everything because we have these nomads. Thirty-one more people. That's a lot of people 
That's a lot of mouths to feed. So we need as much, especially with as low as we are, we need as much help as we can. We don't need to lose anything to winter. I know it's, it's really annoying to do early harvest. I wish there was a button to just harvest all. But there's not. Sadly. I'm just getting slightly tired. This should generate quite a lot of food. I mean, yields overall have been pretty great. Go. With all of our farmers harvesting, we should hopefully get to about 10 to 12,000 food before it starts decreasing. I'm hoping anyway. Honestly, I just hope we have a, a season where we can get everything we need. That would be amazing. Thirty-five, forty thousand, forty-four-ish, forty-five-ish. Oh, oh! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Make it a five thousand. Come on! We got plenty of food. Don't stop yet. You can keep up. Come on, push. Five that we we saw five thousand for a moment. Oh, 57, 58, 6,000. Seven, we're, we're in the 7,000 zone. I went to the wrong one. I wish I could just like, oh wait. I'm just gonna disable that one. That'll save us the issue. Once we're ready, we can use it, but we're not ready. 8,000. More sheep? How many sheep do I have? I actually don't need your sheep, buddy. 9,000 food. Let's see if we can make it to my, my, my estimated 10,000. 10,000 food. We're starting to go down a bit. Come on, guys. There's still stuff to harvest. Don't let winter come and grab us. We can make it to we can make it to thirteen. I think we can make it to thirteen thousand food. As long as it doesn't snow, come on. I know we're not getting them from as many fields, which honestly we should be because oh, just about every field still has something. Eleven thousand. Twelve thousand. We can make thirteen. We can make thirteen. It's going to turn into winter. It's going to start snowing too soon. Well, we made it We, we made it over the, the 10,000 that we were expecting. So, we're doing pretty great. We were able to survive the initial pressure from our nomads. The newest set of nomads, anyway. How's this doing? It's not built. This one's not even... Well, it's started. Just not enough stone. Never enough stone. But I, we're not we're not relaxing yet on the food issue. Food is still a concern. Just because we were able to push into the 10,000s doesn't mean we'll be able to stay in the 10,000s. We're still going to have to amp up our, our production. 
and we're gonna start compensating with meat. So, we've got that one that's started. Let's start this one. Push it right into the back of the chapel. Boom, pasture. We're gonna make these two sheep as well, so that we can also get lots of stored text out. Now, where, where on earth? Are you in my chapel? Okay, he is making clothing. He's just one person, he can't make it fast enough. I wish my builder would focus on this. Okay. No, don't. Oh, well, that's not the builder working on it. Oh, someone died. Oh, lost a blacksmith to a. being burned in the forge. Jeez, that's brutal. Got m freaking melted. Like metal. Gods. Sounds like a bad way to go. We're also getting our houses in. It wasn't really done on purpose, but we are getting our houses built for these nomads. Which, actually, I'm not even sure if the nomads are the ones popular. Alright, boom. No snow. Go. Go. Farmers. Go. Go. Farm. Go farm. Excuse you. Disable. I, I, I disabled this one. Annoying. So it's spring. The moment it hits summer, we're going to do the same exact thing as mm -hmm. I food. You ain't got no food. I don't got no interest. It's funny. I used to not want to buy food, but now when when we're actually under threat, yeah. Oh, easily buy food. But so far, we're, we're doing pretty good. It hasn't decreased that much since, you know, the end of winter. And I think we're, I think we're on the increase honestly and I like it obviously our non-farm can't produce enough for the population but we're in late spring should be summer soon come on build this <laughs> I know you're having fun with your houses up here but I've got other things for you to work on buddy I don't even know how the guys are actually homeless, but because they can move into any house. I guess they need empty houses. Late spring. I'm expecting summer soon. This price is taking so long. Am I still on ten speed? Feels like it's taking early summer. Oh well, we don't want early summer. We want summer, summer. Mm -hmm. And our pastures over here is full, so he's you know ready to transfer over here and over here as soon as those get built. This guy's almost freaking built. Almost, and then hopefully you'll go back to working on what I what I need you to work on. We're starting to dip a little lower into the foods, the food supply. Come on, 
Come on, Summer. Summer! Alright. Now, of course, just because you're doing an early harvest... Oh. I don't know what that's doesn't mean it's going to stop growing. It will still grow. It's just it will grow less if, less if it's been harvested. So, I think that was a really nice feature that they kept into the game where plants do grow even if you harvest them. Like, the ones that you pulled from the field obviously aren't going to grow, but the ones that you harvested, or you haven't harvested yet while you're harvesting, those are still going to grow. So that, that, that was cool. And it looks like not all of them are ready to harvest yet, sadly. So those will be our late bloomers. And just, we're, we're only doing this manual thing until we can guarantee we have a sturdy hold on our crops and our food supply. So once we do, we can we can so we can handle, you know, losing some winter crops a little better. But right now we can't handle any loss of food. And I'm hoping we have done enough to see that really isn't a problem anymore. But I don't think we have yet. Boom. Everyone start harvesting. And then hopefully our builder will start working on this soon. I think we'll get about to maybe 15, 15,000? 15, 15,000 food this time? I'm hoping so. I want to get a nice view of my crops. That is, that is pretty. I love how beautiful the game is. It's, it's, it's actually really simple graphics, but you know, it's, it's still beautiful. And that might just be me, bra not bragging, but experiencing my new monitor to the fullest extreme. But uh, it looks a lot better than from the old monitor that I had. We're at eleven thousand, and it hasn't even reached autumn yet. I think we are doing good. Obviously, we don't want to stop or even slow down yet on our food production. We want to we want to be getting up to 100,000, 200,000. Um, just so that we really don't ever have to worry about it. But we we're going to start getting some educated children soon so they'll be able to work a little better. And that's going to be wonderful. It's going to be absolutely we're in autumn now. We've made our 15,000 gold. Or 15,000 gold. Uh, I don't think we're going to make it to 20. But we can hope. No harm in hoping for 20,000. Okay, he is finally starting. He's finished all his other projects. He's starting to work on the pastures, which is wonderful news. And then I don't want to put in any more houses yet, but I mean, I know we technically need to. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where? All right. You need to hurry up. Needs to hurry up really badly so we can get our sheep over to here so we can just tear down that that pasture. Come on, build, 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 build. 
Uh, I don't want to lose my sheep. I worked so hard for them. Back to work, buddy. Please come back to work, buddy. I need to. I'm gonna make it. That's right. Come on, come on, come on. Finish up, finish up, finish up. Cheap. Now we can only fit 16. So, split, split. That's 15. So, now we're just gonna kill the rest. And I can decrease a single fisherman for it hurts me. So we got our 15. We have saved our sheep population. We may have lost some sheep. But we will survive. And so will our sheep population. Infestation gone. Boom. But I'm gonna I'm gonna wait a little bit because I don't trust it. I'm gonna wait. Well, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and go ahead and split it now. Send the other sheep back. Set it seven out of twenty-five. Make sure the infestation doesn't come back when our first sheep gets there. Looks like we're good. So, we'll start breeding sheep in two of these locations. Hopefully by the time our next little pasture is built, we will be able to have enough sheep to transfer over. Um, that way we can really start going crazy on the stored textiles and everything else. And additionally, that will help increase our food, popu our food production as well. So it's a... Uh, Everybody wins kind of thing. But it is early spring, even if it's snowing like crazy. So we are going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I know these are turning into you know longer episodes, but the further you get into the size of your town, if you didn't build it correctly like we managed to not really do, then... It's going to take a lot more work to try and fix it. And so that's that's just what we're trying to do right now. We're trying to fix it. We're trying to make sure our village is... Or our, our town. Because I'd like to consider now that it has a population of over 200. We can start actually really calling it a town. Um, it may not be a, a town by, you know, today's standards. But by medieval standards, I'd, I'd say, you know, walking into a place with 2,000 people working... Or, or 2,000. 200 people working around plus like 100 kids and 30 something students that's not really a village anymore that really is a town in, in my personal opinion but anyway thank you so much for joining me today uh, make sure to leave me some likes leave me some comments uh, and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button make sure to take care of that so you can keep up to date with all of my content and I will see you guys next episode <laughs>